Hey guys, this is Killer Rob speaking, and today we are back in Motorsport Manager with Killer Rob Motors at the start of Season 11. Ooh, come a far away, come a far away, and it's looking greener. Greener pasture said. Uh, this uh, season will be a battle against Panther Race Team. Let's uh, check them out real quick. Let's check them out. Uh, we can probably uh, see them. Here, there they are. Okay, so sponsors are great. Staff is ca is sheet. Okay, car is awesome. Do we get any more info than this? They have even worse drivers than we have. Oh, how good! How good to know. Ooh, he looks like he is currently about to lose a lot of stats. Uh, stats have peaked. Plus zero percent per week. Oh, that's weak. Yeah, that's weird. What's going on here? And they still have him for 22 months. He's 33. Hmm. This looks a bit dubious, as if he's going to lose some stats very soon. But of course, they have Vincent. Uh, he will be probably be our our nemesis this season. Yeah, they have a very good car. Oh, he's such a good driver. Pay driver and 95% marketability. It's just amazing. Fuck. Fuck, we didn't get him. But uh, anyway, we have someone in the pipeline who might be even stronger. Naz. So now I'm going to improve all the parts that can't easily be changed. And only for one car. And get them up to snuff for the next race. And yeah, that should be good. That should be good. We are also going to get off a new front wing before then. Which we also need to put on this list to improve. And um, probably going to throw out the rear wing at that point. Just all the parts that are hard to repair, they need to be in here. And, well, the front wing. I guess because it's a crucial part. There we go. There's the new front wing. And let's put it in here. 50%, but ah, nice stats. Okay, what part next? Uh, the deceleration definitely breaks. Okay, they are very quick to design too, which is great. And do we need anything else? No, not really. By the way, weather, uh, not too bad, not too bad. Oh, medium speed corners though, oh, oh, this might be bad. Might be a bad start to the season, our weakest part already in the second race. But brakes, we can build some new brakes. How about we choose this one? Uh, although that's just one extra day of reliability work for 10 points of performance. We're probably going to use them for a while, so I think I'm going with the plus 20 instead. And there we are, ready to get to Doha. Ooh. Our suspension is so garbage. Everything else is looking pretty awesome compared to last season. Uh, I'm, I'm very happy with how it went with our season end parts last season. And let's see, 72% on the new front wing. Not bad. And we got a very nice reliability on two very important parts. So no repairs on that in the first race for at least one driver. Isn't that fancy? Yeah. That is great. Now, well, let's get into that. Uh, HQ, seven more days for the handling center. So that Mr. Naz can improve even quicker. Oh, he just had a few level ups, as we can see. Uh, yeah, this one would then go to 26%. And this one would, even, would be even higher. Probably go to... Yeah, this would double. So, the last bonus there. So, this would go to 35% per week. I think at the end of the season, that means he has 100% smoothness rating, which means 20. Um, that would be fantastic. <laughs> I've never seen a driver improve that quickly. So, we're going with our 7th or above sponsor. We should be able to get the 600k. This is important. It's very important to, for us to now get all those bonuses because of uh, the road factory we invested into at the start of the season so that it is ready for next season. That will help out a lot to uh, 
push us up to getting some real fancy drivers uh, if we're not crafting them ourselves like we currently do, which is fantastic. I much prefer that method than uh, just buying the best. Part fitting. Oh, okay, that will be fantastic. Uh, so who's the better driver right now? Um, well, it's hard to tell. Patrizio should be faster. He has less braking there, but better cornering. Hmm, and his fitness is just <laughs> awful. Burger level <laughs> fitness. So, breaking out, yeah, Patrizio gets the better car for now. And there we are, welcome to Doha. And, oh, the stats are back. The stats are back. Yes, they no longer suck. Very good. Those 20 weeks have passed. And, uh, uh what an awful game in some, in some ways. It's... That they still have not, or that it didn't appear to anyone that you actually should be displaying how many laps the race will be anywhere you can select tires. That is just beyond me. Let's see. So, for instance, here, like, yeah, mini map, yeah, oh, awesome, awesome, it's great, yeah, uh, but how many laps? Okay, tire choice. How, how, how many, how many laps? What I needed to do in order to find out was to stop the recording, watch my recording, go back to the place where it is actually displayed, that is by the way not where you choose tires, and then restart the recording. <laughs> okay, well, uh, here we're back. And I come bearing the news that it is 28 laps around the circuit, very fast pit lane. For 28 laps what do we want? That is, soft tires are not good enough. Um, 28 laps means 9 lap stints and 1 10 lap stint, so it's medium tires. It has high tire wear too. So, yeah, let's go definitely with medium tires. A good practice session, as expected. Didn't even uh, really try to uh, push hard with my mediums, but we did beat the Nitro Ninja. And look who did. Ramon! We didn't get any kind of bonuses for the qualifying though. Focused entirely on the race and then there was not enough time to get anything else because the laps are so long. 1 minute 44. Anyway, um... Oh, this didn't quite work out. Alright, first test. Let's move out straight away because of how damn long the laps are. I do want to get in two um, proper tries. Oh, overheated, very overheated. And here we go. How fast can we go? Not very, is probably the answer. And, oh, reasonably close, 144.6. Let's see what that means compared to the competition. And whoa. <laughs> Oh, we have to leave the pits instantly once again if we want to have another lap, basically. Okay, let's do that. Uh, tire choice, soft tires, yes. Yeah, 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 this has gotten better. 98% now, I'm happy with this one. Oh, fuck. Panther Racing, or Panther Race Team, is actually the fastest team now. We are fighting it out with Steinmann. Holy fuck, this has changed a bit, the constellation up there. They are all together now. They are just equal now. Fucking hell. Uh, um, yes. Uh, let's see how the gaps are shaping up after this try. Yeah, okay, Patrizio managed uh, to improve his time ever so slightly, I believe. Or did he? Oh, sixth place. Sixth and ninth, nothing has changed basically since last season. No, no, it's difficult to say. I mean, usually we were one second and three, 1.3 seconds behind. And now we are 0.7 seconds behind. There was a gap of 0.6 seconds between us and the leading teams. And now the, that gap seems to have disappeared. Oh, this is so tempting. 
This is so tempting. Push to the limit. Uh, we have it on the wrong driver. Patrizio has the parts that are fine. Ah, uh, no red zones. It's, it's nice, though. Hmm. I do want to have the pace. I do want to have the bonus in refueling and such. Yeah, I think this is still more powerful. So this is our setup. Uh, apart from actually using the correct tires, maybe? And we are not going to strain the engine too much. I'm not going to go over super overdrive mode. I'm going to keep them on high. Just ride it carefully. No unnecessary repairs, please. Oh, everyone up front is starting on soft tires. We are on mediums. Hmm. There are quite a few mediums in the field, though. A lot of hard tires, too. What are they supposed to do? I mean... You only have so much fuel in the tank. The lights are on! We are ready to roll, and come on, don't fuck it up. Oh no! No! That's what's called a standing start. But, oh, fourth! We're pushing forward! Whoa, Ramon! Oh, four cars wide! <laughs> fourth and fifth, what the hell? Hey, that's from pretty nifty performance right there. But slowly and surely they are catching us. Uh, uh, we're pushing. Uh, no, that's. Uh, let me, let me be, let me be. A lot of people are riding on, uh, running on super, super rich mode though. I don't think that is too good for their engines. But we shall see how many repairs there are going to be towards the end of the race. Oh, Panther Race Team was super good in the qualifying, but man, they have dropped. 7th and 10th. Even Ramon can now hold off Bernhardt on soft tires. Uh, this is going really well so far. Another few laps to go before we need to stop. 41% tires left, 3 laps in the tank. Okay, we are getting closer to the pit stop. One more lap. Um, I'm now pushing. Pushing these tires pretty hard. Pushing the fuel load, we can afford that. 76% reliability still. And now in second place, well, that is because of the pit stops. We're not going to catch them back. Okay, so, pit you in. Uh, we need to repeat what we just did. So that would be, yeah, let's go 11 laps worth of fuel. And that is all looking pretty decent, no repairs needed. Balanced pit stop. Yeah, sure. Fast not needed. Could even take a safe one. Uh, if we wanted to. That's just... Oh, no. That is 2.2 seconds extra. How does that work? How does this only change by... Uh, by a second, then? Is it because of our 50% bonus, maybe? No, Ramon is still fighting with Bernhard. He's also coming in this lap. So keep him away, keep him away. We want to keep um, Patrizio safe up front. And Patrizio and Gobert are coming in. Let's see how this goes. Yes, yes, yes. And out. And... Oh, we're even overtaking a few in the in the pit lane. And there are the first few repairs. <laughs> Ramon is now leading the race. And he needs to come in. So, what re kind of repairs do we need to do already, is the question. Or what can we do already? Ah, uh, nothing really, can we? No. No, 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 no. But it looks like we might be able to squeeze away without having to repair anything. That might make us real slow. But alright. All right, let's uh, give him another 10 laps and make a final shorter stint. That allows us to go on soft tires in the end. And we are out in sixth place. Wow. That is impressive. And in the pits and done. Yeah, no mistakes. Excellent. He's going to fall back a wee bit. 
Seventh. He's coming out in seventh? That's a really strong performance so far. The part conditions are still looking very nice on Patrizio's end. Uh, looks like we are able to get a solid position with him uh, for the first race. Here it's not quite as nice. Um, yeah. Gearbox is trying to give up. Engine is trying to give up. Ouch. The two big ticket components. But I assume there will be plenty of others who also have to repair. We're now in third. Wow. Wow. This is this is going better than expected. And uh, someone uh Go did Gobert have a pit stop? No. Didn't. No, no. Ah! Ah, there was the pit stop. First one to come in. Okay, final pit stop time. And it is just a few more laps remaining. But still in the range where I want to play it safe and go on medium tires. Huh. Do I need any repairs? If we fix this part. It's not too risky, I believe. Just the front wing. It's getting a little low. Quick change, four seconds. Should be fine. Balance pit stop, yep. Yeah. Don't take any unnecessary risks here. Pit him in. Whew. Okay. Third place. That will be podium finish in the first race. Ooh, let's try, let's try. Um, And Ramon, your car looks significantly worse. You do need repairs. And there is Patrizio. So far so good. This is all looking f fancy. He has issues with a component already. Gearbox is giving up. Okay, ignore for now. And now let's pit him in. Um, push the tires. Yeah, continue to push the tires. And we are switching you over on soft tires. Give you the fuel you need. And then repair. Repair a lot of things. The gearbox. The engine. And do we need suspension as well? That will set us back a lot. <laughs> 46 seconds. But we can risk it. Does he need to repair anything else? Maybe the front wing as well. <laughs> it's just everything is being repaired. Um, do we want to repair everything? Yeah, I mean, I can't come in again and fix the front wing. That would be f awful. So let's just fix it all and see where we end up. And 16th doesn't sound too good, but um, never know what happens. And Patrizio. Holy shit, he came out in 5th. And very close behind Bernhard and, um, and of course, Ramon. So, yeah, he is still podium. Podium material. This looks amazing. <laughs> this car is so shot. I mean, this also has the added benefit of um, our team not having to repair too much after the race. Because they've already done some repairs during the race. And now he's done. Yes. 18th. Beautiful. 18th place. This looks a lot better. Well, he will be able to finish the race now, but I, I doubt he, he'll get any points. But there might be tons and tons of drivers who actually need to come in and repair things. Oh, now he's complaining about the brakes. Stop complaining. It's all broken. I know. It's all broken. But we are in second place now. <laughs> second place. And the guy behind us has mechanical issues. And the only one in front is the Nitro Ninja. And the final lap is upon us. Oh, wait. Really? Final lap? Why do we have that much fuel? Holy shit. Should have used more. Let's go attack. And there we are. Fantastic. Yes, yeah, second place finish. That was not bad for a season start. No repairs needed on Patrizio's car. Scrutineering. Is the Nitro Ninja cheating already with the first <laughs> in the first race of the season? No, no one is cheating. And we got 18 points. And zero for Ramon. Ah, sorry man, sorry man, too many repairs. 
And this means for the driver championship that we are very close to second place already. Very close to it, but we are on well, tied with Panther. Oh, fuck. Yep, that's the biggest story. Tied with Panther. They will be our prime con uh, contender this season. Competitor, I wanted to say. Yeah. Um, let's see what the next race will be about if we are just as as strong there. I mean, it's all about the suspension there. <coughs> yeah. Not looking forward to that. Oh, Ramon is unhappy. He's so unhappy. He came 12th. That was bad. It was not your fault, Ramon. Come on, don't be sad. But Kant Kruger has uh, nothing but a middle finger to show because um, he doesn't care if Ramon is successful. He's, he's a cunt and he's quite jealous of him for obvious reasons. Only minus 1.16 million. Okay. That is not too much. That is definitely not too much. Especially if we are getting closer to uh, being able to score in the top three more commonly. There should be appearing some sponsors which might help us out a bit. Well, breaks are built. And the game is saving. And you know what that means. I hope you enjoyed the first race of the season and see you guys next time.